Penny. Everyone that's coming in knows about our Penny Drive. The boys from Berryman even brought in their pennies for us this morning. I'm thinking they might want to head to the Bruce Springsteen concert is what I'm thinking. Uh, this is a, a great bunch of guys uh, coming together for a new pub that's uh, called Berryman Pub, uh, located right next to Tommy and Lefebvre. One of the owners, uh, Charles Sesla, great to have you here. Thank you very we much. We also yeah. have uh, owner also and uh, general manager, Mark Berry. And Cheers. we have one of their chefs coming in, uh, Chris Commanding. Great to have you guys. Good morning. Okay, really cool concept. And this is something that is actually coming back home because you're from here, but you actually have a pub actually in France. And it's I the do. Canadian pub. Yeah, I have a pub in, in Paris called the Great Canadian Pub. I lived there for 20 years, was always homesick, and decided to come and do the same thing here with a couple of my buddies I grew up with. So I would think that the Canadian pub had that Canadian feel to it. Have you brought a little bit more of France back to, um, to the Canadian side of things, or have you brought that European feel to exactly, it? Exactly, a little bit of the Euro European feel. We, uh, we show a lot of the uh, English soccer. Soccer branches are popular, the English Premier League. And of course, the champion Champions League afternoon and Six Nations rugby. So we we focus a lot on the European sports. So it's almost the environment. It's not necessarily the food, but actually the feel. What's on? What's, what's, been, what's playing? Kind of have that touch to it. Yeah, one hundred percent. And I think what is also very unique is uh, it's really difficult to find a spot in Ottawa to go to where it's a great sports pub, but you have good quality food and good dining. You sort of have uh, either a sports pub or you have, uh, you know. It's really a good fine food, right. food or a gastro pub, and this is in between. So it's a really hard format to sort of track through, but we've done a great job, and, and actually, uh, the patrons just absolutely love it. Uh, the comments on the food, thank you, Chris. Thanks, yeah, to Chris. Always, thanks to Chris. Always, yeah, always very, very well, good. I've got some pizzas in the oven. I wanted to check out for you guys. Yeah, sure, you. absolutely. Because, uh, and I want to say, there's a, a certain aspect to it. Usually, you, you think uh, sports pub, you're not thinking gluten free, but this was a concept you wanted to bring in. So this, this was driven by me, Leanne, and thanks for asking the question. Um, <laughs> so about a year ago, I had some minor health issues, and with my dietitian and my doctor, we talked about making some life changes, and one of the changes was, of course, going gluten free. Um, being the owner of a pub and, and not having a gluten-free option was, you know, made for some interesting conversations at time. We fought a bit, yeah. Yeah, a little right, bit. But you know what? You've got to think there are a lot of people in your situation. So thank you very much. That's exactly what happened is we had a number of customers, patrons that were coming in and asking if we had gluten-free options. And uh, ironically, I would always have my uh, special gluten-free stash on the side that uh, Chris would pull <laughs> right. out just for me. Always and uh, So that Chris, came into play. was it fun for you then? I mean, as a chef sometimes to be creative and to it's, come up with a new concept? It's completely, it's a, it's a totally different challenge. It's a, a whole new world for me to get into it. And going with the, the gluten-free option in itself is completely interesting. It's, uh, it's encouraged me to open the books, take a read, and learn a little bit more about the, not just celiac disease, but people's gluten-free diet habits. Well, these actually look incredibly tasty. What are they? Uh, right now, we have actually our vegetarian pizza that I brought today. Uh, we've got a nice uh, homemade tomato sauce on the bottom, an assortment of vegetables that we uh, we source out locally, and then we have our great Canadian pizza to tie in with the, the sister restaurant. I played a little bit on the name when I did it, so sort of the, that take on that Canadian pizza with a little bit of pancetta, chorizo, and. Uh, portobello mushrooms, and of course, uh, Italian mozzarella. See, you can still look incredibly manly eating that piece of Absolute, pizza, no. watching soccer on the No, 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 the difference, good. Leanne, absolutely. Right. You're still a man, 100%. There, there Turned there out really Charlie was, was right for a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about the Berman Pub. We're going to be doing a, a little burger. Is that it for the yeah, second? Yeah, we're doing a couple of burgers Looking today. forward to that, uh, and we'll have more. You're not homesick anymore, I take not it. Not at all. Okay. No.